Hey, everybody. We are live at Pace Studios now with Green Sky Bluegrass. Guys, thank you for being here. Thanks for having hey, us. Yeah, appreciate yeah. It. yeah, I mean, this is a very uh, uh, Green Sky Circle-centric sort of a day. I know you guys are going to be uh, with each other for a number of, of shows. Coming up this week, you're playing the Ryman, you're playing in Tabernacles, and uh, uh, in Atlanta. So stoked that you made this part of your New York journey. Yeah. Um, can you, so the, you guys are going to do three songs today, and all of them are off of All for Money. And can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing first? Yes, this first song we're going to play is called Collateral Damage. Here's that is a very little bit. There's a little bit. That's it. That's it. Yeah, All right. One, two, three. Two, two, three. <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys. It sounds great. Thanks, man. Yeah, dude, the balance in the room sounds outstanding. I know that the mix that Bob is sending out to the internet with his special sauce on it sounds even that yeah, much more fantastic. Internet. Internet. Um, Hi, Jude. Can we got? So I meant to say congratulations. All for the all for money is coming out on Friday. It's coming out uh, this Friday, the eighteenth. Yep. Um, can we? Are you guys playing the title track today, or is that not happening in this session? It's not happening in this session. But this, so regardless, though, I mean, the, the a album songs itself. There's a couple songs on this record that like don't translate as well acoustic, and that's one of them because it's got that right. big weird spacey section. But can we? I mean, can we talk a little bit about the meaning of of the album title and about and about that song yeah. also? Just like you guys trying to trying to balance work life, doing what you love versus that's making exactly dollars what it's about. at it. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Um, thank you. For listening so closely, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, we 
and we named the record after it too. And we were like, is that a good idea? Or is it just, is it too much? But, um, it seems to make a lot of sense because the song is like, it's about us and doing this as a job and it's, a, it's about the fans. And, uh, I kind of kicked around the idea of writing the song for a couple of years of trying to like capture this idea that there's like, we exist in a paradox of like, careful what you wish for kind of, uh, you just might get it. And I didn't want it to come off like ungrateful. You know, I didn't want to sound ungrateful for sort of trying to explain the burden and the pressure of success. Uh, cause it can be kind of intense, but, uh, nonetheless, I did write it anyway. So I assure you all that we enjoy this very, very much, <laughs> but it's a balance balancing act. And it is very much enjoyed what you guys do. It's sounding great so far. And, uh, can you tell us about, so all three songs are from all for money. Can you tell us about what you do in second? Next, we are going to play a song called. Cathedralize. We're still learning yes. the names of the songs. <laughs> I, I, we played one of Dave's songs for the first time at our festival, Camp Greenskin. And I gave the wrong title to the audience, and ever since then, I just have, every time I say one of the new titles, I'm really afraid. It's really nerve There's a lot of fear that I'm going to mess it up. Even my own songs. I don't know what they're called. And we always make up like we have, we have nicknames. We have nicknames for them. We've got pet names for the songs. No, you're not allowed to hear them. No, you're not allowed to hear them. But so when we talk about the real names, it's like kind of a little, a little nerve wracking at times. So this song's written by our banjo player here, Michael Arlen Bont, bon, 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 and bon, uh, bon, bon. a brilliant lyricist Chain. named Aaron Allen, who lives in Michigan, mm -hmm. friend of ours. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. That sounded great. Um, can we? So it, I mean, it's fascinating to watch you guys work the mic the way you do, and even, even without any kind of feedback or listening to the cans, it's clear that you're completely aware of, of very small changes in proximity to a mic. It's the dance. Um, can we can we talk a little bit about what the production of this album was like? I know you guys recorded at Echo Mountain in uh, in Asheville. Um, did it frequently or ever look like? This or is it? A, is there a much fuller <laughs> instrumentation, much no, much more in, individually like, mic we, stuff? We did, I mean, we did this for a while. Like when the band started, um, like we stood around a single mic. I mean, even before my time in the band, but even when I joined the band, I think we were. Well, I, but was there's. Not, a, I was just talking to somebody about this last night because we, we switched to, we switched to like DIs and plugging in for a while, and then we went on tour and we didn't have a sound guy, and uh, we had to explain every night what these instruments were supposed to sound like to these guys who didn't know. So then we just decided to go back to the microphone and take the control away from everybody else. Yeah, so it'd be like us standing around a mic like this, because like he's saying, that was the way to to the we mix ourselves. That was the way to mix us. ourselves, like kind of what we're doing. What you notice, thanks for noticing. Uh, and it, he is so observant. You are observant. Yeah, we've done this a few times. You have. We have. <laughs> we're coming up on thirteen hundred, dude. Next, I think it's next week or next next week. Really? We'll have done thirteen hundred of these. Of these. Sessions? Done? Yeah, we. Yeah, me and Bob. Man, it's just, it's just us doing this. Wow. Where's, where's all the awards? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Wow, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> See. Yeah. Um, but with the album, uh, it's way different than this. Um, you know, we're. There's at Echo Mountain. There's one big, the big. It's an old church. So there's one big room. Um, that is the main kind of church room, and, and uh, Paul and Duvall and Dave were in that room, but with like stuff in between them. We're kind of like the core of the band, is the way we see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're the front guy. This is the front man, Michael, front man, Michael, Michael Duvall, Duvall, everybody. I yes. stand in the middle, <laughs> thus I'm the front man. That's right. If you're in the middle, if you're in the middle, that means that you're the star. It's, it's science. It's the year of Duvall, anyways. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Bont is was in a different room, and I was in a different room, kind of separated. Uh, but we have, there's. There's eye contact with everybody that we could that we maintain like, to me, like we like set up we set up some mirrors so that I could see Bont like, you know, he's in this one room over here and I'm over here and there's a bunch of stuff in between. So we would set up a mirror that I could look across a room, see a mirror, and you know just because sort of what you're talking about that science. thing. Well, no <laughs> science, <laughs> yes, but also that thing like where you know there are little cute just like a nod around him. This microphone means a lot, you know. We kind of mix ourselves like that, but. Um, we we try to maintain that with the record, but you know, as you've heard, there's a lot of there's some songs that like those two songs are pretty bluegrassy and work great around a single mic like this. You know, maybe even better. One would argue if they were arguing type of people, which we are not. Yeah. <laughs> Was that and that, that room yeah, looks we beautiful? Are. That uh, no, we're not. About? Yes, we are. No, we're not. I'm so sick of this. You're in denial. We are not. Why are you being so defensive? <laughs> anyway. All right. But then some of the other songs we need to, you know, there's like lots of effects and really weird stuff, you know, and uh, they don't necessarily translate into a situation like this. But you know. well, I'm enjoying everything that's happening cool. in this room that's right the idea. now. And, <laughs> that's um, you. and you know, so that guy, Gustopher Yellowgold, lives on the surface of the sun. What's his name? Gustopher Yellowgold. His pal Baconstein is made out of bacon and lives right there. Gustopher <laughs> Yellowgold? Yeah. yeah, he won a. He won. Well, well, children watching. <laughs> Gustopher Ye- Yellow, Yellow Gold. Yellow Gold. Yeah. His creator, the guy who created him, came in and played a session. I think he won the Grammy for Best Children's Album, and he does a, a whole animated thing with that fella and Baconstein. They've got their whole world. You think and, Gustopher uh, wants to go on tour? Yeah, man. Abs- <laughs> Dude, take him. We got two. There's two Gustophers. Well, we tour. can take Gustopher on tour? Give me that guy. <laughs> I like him. I like him too. He's going on. He can really come on tour. Yeah, man. Yeah, we we have two here. If he can live bumps. out and people, more people can lay eyes on him for having living lived in your van. Do it. Hey, man. Gustopher, want to go play the Ryman in Nashville? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, bro. Let's so go. you guys are gonna Hop do on. you're doing a third, <laughs> a third from All for Money, and can you tell us about what uh, what song you're doing next? This song is called What You Need. Is it a question or a statement? I'm not sure. <laughs> it is what you need. Question of the what, you need? Is it what you need. I mean, it's oh, a question of the right, song. Here we go. Should get a Guido out here. Oh, Guido, yeah. Uh, our all Guido Guido our percussionist right. traveled with us Guido. for this song. It's Guido Batista. World, Batista. Batista, world. Give Gus for a high five. Right. Give Gus for a high five. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah. Woo. All right. Let's do some jamming. Let's jam it. Jamming. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Pull the 
rug on me Who you gonna come home to see Better take a long look
right, dude. Thanks for uh, for making this part of your day. I know you guys are running around New York and doing a ton today, and uh, you got a, a huge week coming up too. And you're going to be at the in Covington, Kentucky. You're going to be at the Ryman on uh, is it Thursday? Whatever, January seventeenth, whatever day of the Thursday. week that is. Thursday mm-hmm. album comes out. Um, All for money that comes out on uh, Friday the eighteenth. Right. You're going to be in St. Louis at the pageant that night. Yeah. Tabernacle in Atlanta the next day. These are all. This is all like green sky, bluegrass, and then dude, the. Um, that way, it sounds that way. It sounds I'm getting good. tired. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna How be. How far a- is it from St. Louis to Atlanta? That's pretty far. It sounds far. It sounds far. And then and be- the Bender Jamboree in Vegas uh, with uh, Railroad Earth is playing. Infamous String Dusters are playing. Yeah, that, one, that one sounds like a ton of fun. That's a, that's a blast. Yeah. It's in Old Vegas. It's real cool. Yeah, High Sierra. Cool. I mean, there's. It's all at greensky.bluegrass.com. So it sounds like you have a ton of fun things coming up. And best of luck on the album too, guys. Thanks for playing. Thanks so much. Playing thanks three for songs us. from a yeah, first today. Yeah. Thanks you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.